We begin tonight with the latest from Guadalupe, where we are learning more about the innocent bystander who was shot and killed during an officer involved shooting last month. The shooting happened August 21st, just south of City Hall near Obispo and Birch Streets. Police say when rounds were fired at a wanted felon, Juan Alvera was hit instead and killed while sitting in his vehicle. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola has more from the celebration of life held today for the 59 year old. The family of Juan Alvarez is mourning his loss after this unexpected tragedy. Now the shooting happened just down the street from where I'm standing. Alvera was sitting in his car outside of his house, getting ready to go somewhere with his wife. Happy birthday to you. Life was about family for Juan Alvera. He was the heart of everybody. He was a husband, a father of four, and a grandfather to six, with one on the way. He was a great man. He, uh, he teach me how to work. He teach me how to be a man. As his only daughter, he always made me feel special. Whenever I would run into trouble or my car would break down or even if I needed food for work, he would drop everything to take it to me. In 2001, Alvera and his family moved to Guadalupe. He worked for Frida's brothers in charge of irrigation. He was married to his wife for nearly 40 years with their anniversary next month. Era el que me sostenía. My husband <laughs> sustained us. Mi alegría en mi casa. He was the happiness in my home. The family is remembering their special memories with him. He's a real funny man. He always had jokes. His oldest son taught him how to drive a tractor. He was afraid and I told him, hey dad, just drive the tractor. It's, okay. it's going to be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to guide you in how to do it. It was the best, the best years of my life working with him. The family wants to thank the community for the outpouring of support as they continue to mourn Juan Alvera. He showed us how to be strong and keep moving forward. So that's, that's together. That's what we're going to do. We're going to miss him immensely. The family says the chief of police has stopped by their home to offer condolences during this difficult time. Meanwhile, the DOJ has identified the officer involved in this shooting as Officer Miguel Jaimez. In Guadalupe, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Under a new bill, the California Department of Justice and the Attorney General's Office are required to handle the criminal investigation into the shooting because it resulted in the death of an unarmed civilian. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office and Santa Maria Police Department are involved in the investigation as well.